Hey everybody, Invisible Katani here, playing One Finger Death Punch again. Um, hopefully you guys saw the uh, 1.5 episode. I just did that one like right before doing this one. Because I wanted to make sure I put up all that footage, even though it was... Even though... Oh crap! I wasn't that before. Um, Destroy your enemies by pressing X and B. Had to figure that one out. Take your time. Fight him slowly. Look at the X and B buttons moving down the street. Victory! It's got a light sword, not a light. Okay. Alright, I got some achievement. I don't know what that was. <laughs> um. Oh, arrow. Oh, probably do both. Um. Blue enemies um, will dodge your attacks. The enemy's hits are indicated below them. Oh my god, I thought he was still alive. That's what I'm like, what is Um, yeah, I wanted to make sure I had that done. Because I didn't want to start this episode before, you know, before finishing that one. Oh. Crap, I didn't know what I was gonna do. Every time I end up with someone who has a crown, it's like, oh. Hit your enemy seven times before time runs out. You've completed them. Victory! I felt like if he talked through the whole thing, I wouldn't have got the point. Awarded. New skill unlocked. Three daggers. Cool. Three music tracks from the album Chinese Dance Machine. Every Pro dagger comes with two additional daggers. Okay. All skills are automatically activated when the kill hmm. requirement is met. Press A to toggle skills on and off. Okay. You may only have three skills active. Each equipped skill will become active while playing a stage once you kill a certain amount of enemies. For example, the three daggers skill activates after you kill one enemy. When one Pretty enemy cool. is killed, your skill will become active and will be ready to use. Once active, the skill will work on its own. For example, the three daggers okay. skill once active. I, I didn't know that was just gonna go in a circle. Oh, round. Speed is 123%. I didn't realize I had it. I didn't realize I actually had it. Every time it has a little red on the bottom, it messes me. Because I keep thinking that it's going to be one of those characters. That the dot is like that. Where'd I get a bow? Oh, oh. the medal. Awarded. New skill unlocked. The throw weapons. Skill allows you to throw the next sword, stab, or club you pick up. Every That's bow cool. comes with two additional arrows. Okay. Now we can do a boss now. One pair. Boss round. This what? boss switches between green and the blue. The enemy's hits are indicated below them. Oh, crap. bit confused in all honesty about the fact that he's switching, but I think I just figured it out. Victory. Gold the medal. Awarded. Yes, that's fine. Hmm. 
Also, um, I know I don't have face cam on right now. Um, I didn't realize I didn't have face cam on until my camera just went off, but I didn't hit record. So I'm just gonna keep going with this and not have face cam because I don't have enough time to start all over again. Actually. I've been doing it a lot lately where I have not been recording, where I have, where I would mess it up. Normally, I notice it early on. I don't know. Like this. Sorry you can't see face cam, not that it makes any real difference. Use X and B to shoot ball into enemies. It will kill any enemy in one hit. Juggle the ball back and forth to kill as many enemies oh. as possible. The ball must be in your X or B zones in order for you to hit it. I kind of wish they didn't count the misses because I'd love to just keep pressing the button. Ooh, barely got that one too. I got branching paths and stuff. Such a simple, such a simple concept for a game, but it's so fun. Pretty crappy, actually. <laughs> that kind of sucked. Much like me being stupid and forgetting to hit record on my camera. But I just want to get this video in, so... I guess considering how I had to do the last episode, it kind of fits. So I'm not too different. It's... Drop weapons for you to pick up. Press X or B when a weapon is in your attack zone. Pick it up. Weapons increase your attack range. If you already have a weapon of the same type, oh, man, you will be able to throw it. Oh, yeah. You can only yeah, use a weapon I'm, for a short time. I'm like using that stuff to weapon, move. Remember? But attack range I should not be doing that because I'm definitely getting bronze out of this. Or, um, yeah, I'm without a doubt getting bronze out of this. Or use them. Oh crap. How did I kill myself? Victory! That's definitely a bronze for sure, because I did like... Oh, only seven. Oh my god, I did like 20 of those things. Just moving around. Nunchaku! Full on boost. There's like no good commentary for this game for me because it's just like me making noises. Even though I should be like, as much as I love martial arts, I should have a ton of stuff to talk about, but all I can do is just hit people in the head and get distracted. That's like all I can do in this game. Ah, oh, I got it. Dang. If the X or B bars drop below the ground, you are too slow, and you will take damage. In all honesty, I never had any real idea when I was supposed to press those buttons. Like, in all honesty, I never, I still don't get it. Like, I don't understand. Like, oh, this is when you're, ex this is exactly where you're supposed to, um, 
Hit the buttons. What was that? Like another weapon I would assume. I screw that up. like the worst commentary ever. I see like zero commentary for this game because I'm just like actually playing. I could talk about anything because it's like the only game I'm playing right now where I could just talk, but it's like I'm just I just get so distracted that I end up saying nothing for a game where it's like say anything you want. You can talk about art. I can talk about other games. I can talk about school, which I've never been. Yep. I just ended up talking about nothing. Let me just get this button. I think one button press one button. If only learning martial arts was in that would be great. I'm like, what did I just do? <laughs> Keep that going for a long time there. I'm sure there's an achievement there somewhere. Make it bounce like 10 or 15 or something. Victory! Gold the medal! Awarded! Cool. Oh, this says something about Kung Fu is not strong. So I'll work my way up from the boss battle to get to the, um, to get to whatever that other blue circle is. It looked like it had, a like it had, um, a tiger on it, so maybe it's like all power attacks or something. Because as soon as I was about to say, oh, I like this level, so I'm doing pretty good. That's when I screw up and I get punched right in the face. Oh, it's with a light sword. This number shows you the current speed of your enemies. When you perform well, it increases. When you fail, it decreases. But it will never go lower than 100%. Enemy base speed will increase throughout the game, making future stages more difficult. I wasn't sure if that was their speed or overall speed was increased, but I guess it makes sense that it would only be theirs. I don't know why I didn't realize this the last time, but this is obviously a lightsaber. <laughs> Oh crap. Victory. Okay. Alright, so I got damage, but no misses. Nice. 
pro tip, do not judge a game by its cover. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Just smash them. Break enemies into objects to break them. Break the total objects indicated okay. to win. Smash round. that I need to do. Silver medal awarded. In early builds of the game, you only had one hit no matter what. Mm. I'm glad they changed that, because that would be incredibly difficult. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode on a boss fight. Boss round. Drunken fist. I was wondering if there was like a, a thing to that or... But, uh, it's like it just switches so quickly. It's weird. It's like free hits and then like done with the free hits. You're done with the free hits. Yeah. yeah, I don't really like the boss. Fights. Oh, kind of weird survival mode unlocked cool all right so thanks for joining me for this episode everybody um so i guess we can do a speed round that's not too crazy keep all enemies before time runs out you cannot use skills speed round oh, they're getting out of speed they ran in like this. I like to try to go back and forth. I don't know why. I'm definitely gonna do this one too. Keep all enemies speed around. Guess I won't be ending it soon. I don't know if it's actually a good tactic in any way to go back and forth or not. But as you can see, that's clearly my tactic too. I love how that kept transferring <laughs> to the next version. Number two. Uh, what? My freaking battery's running low and it shut, screwed up my game. And it might not even. Hopefully. Hopefully the game doesn't shut down on me. Or my laptop doesn't shut down on me. I like do this. And of course, when you need to do it really quickly, that's when your cords get tangled up. And I guess technically I got... I still got about 8 minutes, so I guess I can mess around and... If I can untangle stupid cords... Uh, and we're gonna go up and around. This one. 
Yep, there it is again. Okay. So, now we're back. These favorite guys are definitely the blue guys. Because they mess me up when I'm going to have it. Oh, I will redeem myself on this one and not end it because I do actually want an actual medal, so I'll go for a real medal. Thanks for joining me. This game was made by two strange Canadians. Okay. So thanks for joining me, everybody, for this episode. Um, next time, I will make sure not to be stupid, and I will hit record on the camera. And that way, I will actually have face cam, even though it really doesn't matter for a game like this to see my reaction, because I don't have one. I'm really just, like, focused, which is why the commentary kind of sucks on this one. But thanks for joining me anyway. Of course, if you guys have any comments, please put them down in the comment section below. And please join me in the next part.